In this clip, we're going to be talking about solids and blending modes. To create a solid, we could just go to layer, new, solid, or you can see we also have a keyboard shortcut, which is control I. I'm going to go ahead and left click that. A new window will open and it will give us a few settings like the name of the solid. In this case, I'm going to call it red. And here we have the option we can change the size of the solid. We can change the width, the height. We can also change the unit if you want to work with like inches or millimeters. But for the most part, you'll probably leave it at pixels and the pixel aspect ratio. If you make any changes like I did previously and you just want to make it the size of the comp, you can hit this button or make comp size and it will automatically make the solid the same size as the composition 1920 by 1080. We also have the option to pick a color for the solid and here we have a color palette or a colored window. We also have a color picker in case you want to sample any sort of color from your screen. For now I'm going to select a red color and I'm going to hit OK. And on my solid settings window I'm going to hit OK. A new solid will be created and it will be on top of all the other layers. In this case, I'm using the shy button just to hide all the other layers that I had previously made, just so you can concentrate on what I'm doing. Once the solid is created, if our transfer mode is active, which is our little button down below on our left side, you'll see that our blending mode column opens. And here we can change this blending mode to a lot of different options, like a darken if we'd like, and that will automatically change the entire look of my composition. So basically the blending mode is the way that layer interacts with the rest of the layers. So if I keep on changing this option and if I go to add, for example, we'll start getting different looks for our composition right away. And this is a pretty cool or good idea if you just want to play around with colors and be somewhat artistic if you want. If you want to scroll through your blending modes in a faster way, you can use your keyboard shortcut which is shift plus or shift negative and you will see that the blending mode will start automatically changing. And here you can find a nice look, for example there, soft light doesn't look bad. If I bring down my layer properties, if I go to transform and I bring down the opacity of my layer to let's say about 50%, at that point, the blending mode will also change for all these options. And you'll see that we will start getting different looks right away. I'm going to keep that soft light for now just so I can get a little pinkish color in there. Another useful thing for our solids and our blending modes is the easy way to create a widescreen. If we hit Control Y, which is our keyboard shortcut to create a layer, in this case, I'm going to change the color to a white and I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to name the layer WS. Now the layer has been created and After Effects also has these alpha blending modes. The way to demonstrate this is I can make this layer smaller just by dragging it like that. But instead of what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control Z and I'm going to go to Layer, Solid Settings. And here I'm just going to change the height just until I'm happy. With what I have and I'm going to hit OK. Now I'm going to go to my blending modes. So if I start playing with these alpha settings, I'll get some cool results. For example, if I select this stencil alpha, you'll see that I'll get my widescreen. So if I go to layer, solid settings again, and I make the height slightly lower, just so I can be able to see that ocean. And I'm going to hit OK. So if I start playing around with these alpha blending modes, You'll see that I'll get different results. For now, I'm just going to keep it on the stencil alpha option. 
Okay, so those are the basics of solids and blending modes. I'll see you in the next clip.